Hello there. Just wanted to show you guys my new toy. This is the QHY10 CCD one-shot color. And I bought this for when clear skies are rare. It, I think it would just be easier to go with the one-shot color camera instead of a, a mono camera where you have to cycle through filters when you just don't have enough time to get in enough exposures for every filter. So I went with this and I'm hoping that maybe I can even do the, the Pleiades with if if I only have one hour of clear skies available to me. We'll have to see. All right, let's see what's in the box. Okay, this is everything that came in the box. And I'll start with the camera here. As the camera, and it looks like it has a pretty good sensor in there, pretty good size. And it does work with, with my uh, nose adapter here, so I can plug it right into a an eyepiece hole that's 1.25 inches so that's not going to be a problem I was concerned about that for a moment and it looks like the package included a, a spacer that fits onto the the camera ring uh, this is a USB adapter that will go from the the camera to the the computer that's what the back of the camera looks like it has a nine pin port for power and then the USB slot and I think over on the right, that can be used as an auto guider. If you have the, the line for the auto guider, but I'm not going to use it as an auto guider. Uh, this is the cover that came for the camera. And <laughs> these are all the power cables. This thing really looks like a power pick when you look at all this stuff. Uh, High Point Scientific had it wrong on their website. They said it was DC power, but this is definitely AC power. You see the plug right there. And this plugs into that. And this looks like it plugs into this. Oh, this came with the two. I don't know what that is. Maybe a power regulator. This plugs into that. And then it has a nine pin on this side, which this cord would plug into. And then another nine pin on this side, which plugs into the camera. So they give you everything you need to power this thing up. Except when I take it out in the backyard, I don't have AC power. So I'm hoping this will work with my with my external battery i have a 12 volt 6 amp battery and the camera specifications say it needs at least 12 volt 4 amps so i'm hoping i can hook up my battery to it we'll see okay i'm trying my 12 volt 6 amp battery with this and i've got it plugged into this thing whatever this thing is and the lights have lit up and it says the, the fan is on you can read that the fan is on and it says 6 volt 15 volt not sure exactly what that really means and it's plugged into the camera and I can feel and even hear the camera working so it's definitely powering it up I won't know how well it's working until I get this thing plugged into my laptop but I'm glad for now that my battery works and this is a talent cell battery I, I like these batteries. They do a good job of powering my telescopes. And I tried the same battery on my new CGX mount. And it kept it powered um, for nine straight hours. So I tested it in the basement. I put it in tracking mode so that the telescope wasn't actually, the mount wasn't just sitting idle. And nine hours is pretty good life. I'll never be out there that long. So I'm hoping that if it can power my, my mount for that long, hopefully I can get good life out of, uh, out of the camera. Okay, I have got it plugged into the laptop. I installed the driver, didn't see any issues there. Nebulosity had QHY10 in the drop down, so that was easy to find. And uh, the temperature for the camera is set for minus 20 degrees. And if you look down here, it says minus 22. Okay, it likes that better than 20, whatever. And one thing that's different from my ZWO mono camera is that the gain is 63. That seems to be as high as I can go with this. I think with my ZWO camera, it, it went up to 600. So I'm not sure exactly what the best settings are for imaging. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not used to such a low number for gain, but I'm sure each camera is probably a little different. Hey, I am back again, and I looked around the web, and it seems that 22 for the gain and 119 for the offset 
should be pretty good for me. And 22 may be a little on the high side, but I plan on using a light pollution filter with this camera. So I'm going to go with that, and I'm already starting to build my darks library. Right now I'm doing 30 seconds, and I'll create 1 minute, 90 seconds, all the way up to 5 minutes. I hope I don't have to go more than that. I know this camera is not nearly as sensitive as my mono camera, but I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to go beyond 5 minutes. We'll, we'll see. And by the way, right now this battery has kept my camera powered for over four and a half hours. So, still going. I like it. See you later. This is just a comparison between my QHY10 camera and my ZWO camera on the right. Um, it's a little taller. And one thing is, is that the sensor is a little deeper in the QHY10 camera than it is in the ZWO camera and I'm hoping that I'm not going to have an issue with uh, the back focus. I don't have a lot of room to spare. So uh, now I was using a filter wheel with the ZWO camera. I won't be using that with this so that'll save me a little space. But they feel the same weight so I'm hoping that when I switch between cameras I won't have to rebalance the telescope. Uh, I'll have to see. Okay. Well, that's how the camera looks on my Newtonian telescope. And you can see how much space I have for back focus. I got about a quarter inch to spare inward. So I'm hoping that it's not going to require me to go any in any farther than a quarter inch. We'll have to see on the next clear night, which <laughs> clear nights are kind of rare, so I can't test the camera tonight. Maybe next week I see some, some clear nights. I hope so. So anyway, oh, let me just show you here. There's my old alt as mount. That's my AVX mount, which had really good guiding. And there's my new CGX mount, which I still haven't been able to test. I'm waiting for a clear night. Okay, that wraps up my, my first review of the QHY10. See you later.